Oh, this is Spellbinder again. I just come across this History Channel Mega Disasters methane explosion. And, uh, well, since the golf is so full of it, methane that is, that just kind of relates to what could happen. Like in Africa when the CO2 came over and it dropped everyone up to 16 miles. If this thing does that, it could do the same thing. It could it could raw people just fall down to sleep and never wake up. This is how it goes. Watch. <laughs> Methane explosion on mega disasters. Methane, the simplest of all hydrocarbons, is the main component of natural gas. It is both a resource and a hazard. Dissolved in water, it will not burn. But when it is released into the air, any spark can make it explode. Dr. Gregory Riskin is a professor of chemical engineering at Northwestern University. He has developed a controversial theory that says the oceans can and have produced methane eruptions on a global scale. It has happened periodically over the last half billion years without fail. So there is no question in my mind that it will happen again. Methane, says Riskin, was responsible for the Permian mass extinction, the largest mass extinction of all time. Up to 95% of all species disappeared from the face of the Earth. Professor Riskin believes the extinction was the product of a giant methane eruption and its incredible explosive force. The amount of energy which would be released in the combustion and explosion of the methane in a large eruption would be about 10,000 times greater than the total nuclear stockpile which is available at this moment. Riskin's theory works like this. Deep pockets in the ocean allow methane to accumulate over long periods of time. In the Permian period, a seafloor basin of methane-saturated water may have reached a breaking point. An earthquake, underwater landslide, or even a meteor impact could have been the trigger. And suddenly, like shaking a gigantic soda bottle, the deepest part of the ocean would have exploded in a deadly storm of methane bubbles. The idea of a violent methane eruption from one of the world's oceans seemed like science fiction until something very much like it actually happened. It took place at Lake Nyos in the African nation of Cameroon. Well, in 1986 in Lake Nyos, uh, something happened in lakes that had never happened before. There was a tremendous eruption of CO2 gas that was stored in the lake. A huge fountain driven by 1.6 million tons of carbon dioxide shot out from the waters of Lake Nyos. This gas, when it came out of the lake, produced so much energy that it generated a gas water fountain out of the lake that was about 100 meters high. And it filled up the lake basin, and because CO2 is about twice as heavy as air, it flowed out over the spillway and coursed down through the river valleys where it killed people up to 16 miles away from the lake. 1,700 local villagers and all their livestock died, smothered by carbon dioxide. The eruption at Lake Neos re really lit a fuse in the scientific uh, community for an explosion of ideas about where else this might have occurred and, and most specifically whether there were these kinds of tremendous gas eruptions from the ocean. I have almost no doubt that there is a stagnant basin somewhere where methane is accumulating as we speak. But I have no idea where it might be simply because the deep ocean is very little known. Without knowing where there are stagnant basins on the ocean bottom, the site of the next eruption, should it occur, could be anywhere. A methane eruption in the Pacific, for instance, could put the entire west coast of the United States in danger. 
once the gas begins bubbling out, there would be a chain reaction, forcing fountains of methane and water to the surface across an area the size of California. Tsunamis would uh, reach the west coast of the United States, for example, and say Hawaii in a very short time, uh, perhaps a few hours. Cascading tsunamis from a Pacific eruption may first strike American shores at San Diego. The low-lying terrain exposes heavily developed areas to extensive water damage. It is possible to estimate that the flood waters may reach heights of over 100 meters in a large eruption. At that height, tsunamis would cover downtown San Diego, leaving only the city's 25 tallest skyscrapers visible above the water. Next would come the methane-bearing water clouds, ready to ignite as soon as they meet any random spark. I estimated that even in a reasonably small oceanic eruption, this explosive mixture will be able to cover the whole surface of the Earth with a layer of about 50 meter thick. The methane eruption itself is confined to one area of the ocean, but the disaster it produces would be global. So there you got it. Is this the scenario for the Gulf instead of the Pacific? It could be very much. I'm watching these because they always seem to show you something before it happens. Uh, you always notice in movies they always seem to throw something in there like the knowing about the oil platform in the beginning of the knowing. And now that's, is it prolific or is it just coincidence? I don't think so. I think everything that the, the world order does is planned ahead of time. Nothing is accidental. It's all been planned. And I think this was a warning to us. This came out, well, somebody posted it on the 11th of 2010, May 11th. And uh, the disaster happened, what, the 27th of April. So I don't know if it's came out before then I believe this was out before then they were because the history channel on their mega disasters always cover things ahead of time well that's all I got for you for right now I'm gonna leave it there and let you know what's going on this is amazing how this is so much like what could happen in the Gulf since there's such a high methane level stored down there and they know there's a lot of methane in the Gulf especially where the deep horizon was and if this is any clue that they knew this is going to happen sometime in the future it may be why BP CEO sold their stocks and everything a week or so before uh, Rumsfeld bought with Halliburton bought the oil cleaning company about a week before it's just amazing you know it's coincidences I don't think so Somebody knew something ahead of time, and, well, that's it for now. This is Spellbinder with the news moment. Talk to you later.